guys welcome back to this new video on uh, azure file storage and this is the part three in the series of azure file storage and if you've been following this in the first one i showed you how to create a storage account and then we created a file share with the name fs1 and uh, in the second video then we created and uploaded a, a, a text file with the name inventory then i showed you how to take snapshot and after we took the snapshot we deleted that uh, file uh, deliberately and then we were able to restore by the uh, using the snapshot that we took now in today's video i'll show you how you can uh, tie the azure file storage by uh, with the azure backup services because when it comes to the incremental uh, backup or you want to schedule a backup uh, you need to use the Azure backup services which is not part of the snapshot and that is what I'm going to show you exactly how to utilize Azure backup services to protect your Azure uh, file uh, shares. So the first step in order to do that is to create a recovery service vault. So pick recovery service vault and uh, we'll give a name. I'll deploy this in my existing resource group which is Girish RG and the location is Canada Central and click on create. Not only Azure backup services, uh, Azure file storage also can integrate with other third party vendors. Uh, it uses the API in order to protect that uh, but for this demonstration I'm going to keep it as simple and use the Azure backup services but just to let you know that there are other options available in case you want to protect your Azure file shares. So as you can see that uh, under the notification the creation for the deployment was successful so if I refresh I can see my recovery service vault and uh, let me get inside this vault and uh, pick backup. And where is your workload running? It is in Azure. And what do you want to back up? So along with the virtual machine, you see we also have the option of Azure file share. So let me pick this and click on backup. And uh, we only have one storage account, which is Girisha C in which the file share is. So I'm going to pick that. So under the file share to backup, I only have a one file share with the name FS1. Or if you have multiple, it's going to all populate over here. And you can select and click on OK. And under the backup policy, you have the option of uh, creating a new backup policy if you want. For some reason it is not showing the default but it should be there uh, let me see okay okay let's give a name for the policy and you can specify uh, daily when you want to do this backup and you can also uh, specify how long you want to retain this and click on ok and enable backup
the deployment was successful so if I can go under the backup under the backup policy you will see that I have uh, the one with the name that I just created right and uh, it will run uh, at uh, 11 p.m. and the retention that I have chosen over here is for uh, 30 days in this case If I go under the backup item, you will see that uh, I have the file share here and uh, it is showing in uh, this exclamation mark because it is not yet backup and I can still expand these three dot if I want to run the backup now. I can click on backup now and uh, click OK. So what it will do is that uh, it has just triggered the backup. Uh, I just wanted to show you because I just don't want to wait uh, till the time it is scheduled to give you an idea and uh, the backup was triggered successfully you can also look over here but uh, if you go to the job monitor you should be also able to see so on the monitoring and report you can go to backup jobs and you will see that uh, the backup job was uh, completed uh, successfully so you saw that how it is easy to integrate uh, Azure backup services with Azure file uh, you can use the snapshot technology, but in case you want to have a schedule, you want to run at a specific time, uh, you need to tie that up with the recovery service vault and use the Azure backup services. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.